Well, we finally have something pretty dang interesting to talk about here on our uh, version 1.3 cells. We're running in differential mode. So let me show you a brief tour of this experiment and why we find it interesting. We've got, this is cell B, and B is the, uh, has all the active Chalani wires in it. I don't know how well you can see, but you should be able to see their darker wires. They've got, uh, well, they've got the Chalani treatment uh, layers on there. And then we have on the right side, we have cell A, which has just nichrome heating wires in there. The experiment began on around the 16th of August, and we stepped the power up. We have two identical cells running in differential mode, and we're looking at the difference. The gold color is the external uh, temperature minus the ambient for cell A, which is our control cell. And you see that was running a little hotter than the blue line, which is the active cell. Until we get up closer here, and all of a sudden um, we have a larger, the power turned off here briefly while we updated the software. We started to have some activity, some non-linearity. For a while it was higher, then for a while it was lower, prompting speculation that that was an endothermic phase. Then for the next several days, it ran consistently, the active cell was consistently hotter than the uh, control cell. This is our positive looking data in this section right here. Unfortunately, in the middle of that, there was a power outage. We cooled the cell to uh, reload the, the uh, hydrogen pressure to uh, account for a small leak that happens. The best temperature difference we see is at around 37.5 watts, where we're seeing more than 10 degrees of difference between the uh, active cell and the control cell. And as we scroll over uh, even more, this is the last part of the experiment where the signal kind of changes, goes away pretty much. Um, the uh, temperatures change kind of inversely to each other on the two cells, and I'm not sure what to make of that, uh, but the difference between them stays much lower than uh, what we saw before. And that's about where we are at at the moment. And the future steps are to try and activate the second wire, which hasn't loaded yet. And we'll do that by heating it directly um, while leaving the other wire also turned on. Uh, then we might try to force some flux of hydrogen out of the wire by uh, running it down to a partial vacuum. And we may add a Hemholtz coil uh, to induce a magnetic field on it, which we hear from Dennis Letts is a very important part of getting a good signal you know, in the test that he's done. And uh, it's worth a shot. So this is data that we're pretty excited about. It's probably the most promising stuff that we've created here um, at Hunt Utilities Group as part of the MFMP. And as always, we're open to suggestions and criticisms. Um, did we miss something? Uh, is it a false positive? Or are we finally on the road to uh, you know, demonstrating an anomalous heat effect?